my name is Robin Johansson. My in-game alias is Fiflaren, and I currently play for Team NIP. Since you've been on the game leader for so long, you know what to look at in other teams, you know what works within the team, and you know what you can do with your teammates. Well, let's say you have a new in-game leader, he has never called before in his entire life, you know, and he's like, hey, this is easy, you know, A split, B split, you know, it's fine, you know, yeah. So it's, it's a lot more than just calling a strat. I, I think that this is one thing where people don't really understand. And this is the reason why, for example, I know this has uh, been in talks a lot, that the in-game leader most of the times will be fragging less uh, in terms of, you know, the other players in his team. I'd say it's 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 hard to be an in-game leader. I think that there's only uh, a certain kind of people that actually can be a really good in-game leader. Because you have to keep in mind, you, you are running your team and you're also trying to outsmart the other team, which takes a lot on you. And then at the same time, you have to flash smoke and try and kill someone. You know, Fraggle from Source, he, he only played Rifle Light. I don't think he ever offed a single time in Source. And then you have Force used to off, if I'm not mistaken, back in 1.6. Uh, and then Get Right and Exist, and also never really offed. Uh, so then, you know, it was safe to say that, you know, then I, I might as well take it because I'm being gaming anyway, and I can lead the team. Uh, and if we need an off, I can just pick it up as well. Uh, and then what happened was when Exist took over the in game role, I became the full time offer. Uh, which, you know, for, for offers that's really good right now, say Garden, for example, or, or Mark Love or whatever, they've been offering for, you know, probably the, their, their entire career. Uh, as for myself, you know, I, I never really used to off, and then I get thrown in and I get to uh, play the off against the best people in the world. Uh, so it's it's actually quite hard, uh, but I, that's that's kind of the role that, that was given, so because obviously we spoke about it and we, we thought that it was uh, the best fit for the team. He's going to be my teammate for two years soon, and he's one of the best teammates I ever had since like one to six. I mean, everyone in my team right now is the best, bestest of what you can say. Uh, people are just looking over the score and what Fifla has in game and shit, but he does shit loads of work for us in the team. He makes me look like a better player and like the rest of the team as well. He's my teammate and he's my older brother, you Yeah, we have our superstars, but what you want to do as a player that's behind the superstars is you want to make life easier for them, right? So what happens is, I will, for example, let's say I will flash out Forrest and Freiburg out long, and I will also smoke for them. By the time I get out, Freiburg and Forrest, if I have done a good job flashing and smoking for them, they will probably have killed them. Uh, before I even get a chance to get out there, right? And by the time I'm up on A, four, four, four of the op uh, opponents are dead, and then I'm sitting there, I was like, yeah, okay, cool, we won the round. Uh, but then, when things don't work out as planned, like, like you said, when I'm left uh, alone, for example, that's when, you know, the round hasn't really gone the way it should, because, you know, we flash out, let's say four, some five guys, uh, get right on the other side of the map and he dies from something as well and then it's me and exist for example and let's say exist dies as well when i'm stuck there uh, and that's pretty much the reason why i'm left alone is because the round before or the round before i was left alone it didn't work out the way that it was planned at spela för nip innebär att man spelar för ett av världens bästa lag uh, ta fotboll till exempel vi kan jämföra med barcelona det är samma sak fast i counter strike världen vår första Lanförlust var mot ett ryskt ukrainskt lag som i princip vi ska slå dem. Men de, hade, de, de matchade upp med oss väldigt bra. Fram till den matchen så hade vi vunnit 87 matcher i rad på LAN. Alla torska match, vare sig om det vore Barcelona eller oss eller vilket annat lag som är bäst i världen på det de gör. De kommer alltid förlora någonting. I, I don't really think we had a sense where, you know, oh, you know, because we won so much, we're going to win this time anyway. But I think we had a sense where, you know, I, I'm pretty sure if, like, if you go back to and you watch the latest tournaments that we had when we won, when we had this streak, like, no one was really happy, you know, it was like, oh, you know, yeah, we won, you know, it, it was not really, you know, yeah, sure, we won and we were happy in a sense, but it wasn't like, for example, we won Copenhagen Games, for example, this time. Like everyone was, you know, super happy because we hadn't won in a while. Um, 
and you know we actually worked hard to get there. Whereas before, when we had, when we had the streak, we just felt that you know people just needed time to catch up. Basically, like we we knew that we were far ahead of everyone else, and we knew that, for example, Titan would be one of those teams where they, they will come back because they they are a really good team. But back then, you know, we, it, it's not like we thought like you know we're gonna win this anyway. But it was like on to the point where since we were so far ahead, we. In our minds, we knew, like, even though we, even though let's say we're not gonna practice, we will probably win anyway, because we were so, you know, far ahead. Uh, and then this one thing happened at Star Ladder, and I think that's where, you know, everything changed for us in a way. Uh, and even though, like you said, it might be a you know a bad thing to end up second every single time, for us it's actually not a bad thing because for us that just that just proves to ourselves that we are still again the most consistent team in the world and we are still one of the be best teams in the world, if not the best team. Since clearly, you know, every other person that wins a major they end up you know falling short in the next uh, tournament or whatever. So we are still you know one of one of the best teams. <laughs> Uh, and that's for that for us. It, it just shows that you know we still have what it takes to be the best team in the world, or at least a, a really good contender to being the best team in the world. And then you know for us, we don't feel the need that we need to change a player. We just need to find uh, a more suitable playstyle, or you know something that will work better for us when we and when we enter the next tournament. I think that I did my best tournament at the VMS during the uh, during NIP. Like I, I think that uh, even as being like even because I was in game during EMS as well, and I, I feel like up until the final, I, I made every single call straight. I made every single call right. Uh, look at Dingtas, for example. You know that game looked to be very easy. People didn't really know what was going on, uh, and you know it's just that we had such a good idea on how they would be playing and how we would be playing as well as you know i was playing well as well so uh just removing the finals let's say ems uh, i also feel like uh, previous star ladder had a good tournament even though stats don't show it uh, i think i ha i um I, I had a few key moments that actually made us win especially versus titan uh, that people seem to forget right like um, when when you win and you do something good people will will remember it for two days and if you lose and, and you do something bad, people will, will remember it for a decade, right? That so. team could potentially pick up two major titles. Oh, but the flare, are you joking? He's gonna pick up a triple kill, goes for the USP, not gonna get the quad, but they do it! Fanatic, they have no money left! NIP take the round, and that's gonna be 13-13. NIP have won Gamescom 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, 16-13. It finally happens. After nearly a year, after nearly a year, two second place finishes. Nip finally claimed the title. They are the champions. Gamescom 2014. And despite Fnatic's best efforts, it goes the distance. It goes all three maps. And we have our champions, the best team in the world, Ninjas in Pajamas. And uh, NIP is awesome. Like, I, I've known the people. I know Nicholas, uh, one of the guys running NIP for a very long time. He's always been like a, you know, like a close friend of mine, uh, as well as Freiburg. I've known him for a very long time as well. And then I get to got to know these guys as well and you know they're all great i uh, i can't really say anything bad about them there's really nothing to say so nip yeah it's friendship family